Hi, it's Susan Short with FBE TV, and we are here today at a fabulous Sarasota event, the grand kickoff for the Sarasota Film Festival. We are here at the rooftop at Sage in beautiful downtown Sarasota. Let's go in, take a look. here with Mark Famiglio. He's the president of the Sarasota Film Festival. This is year 22, correct? Yes, it is. 22. Congratulations. Well, thank you. And, and really thanks to all the uh, staff and volunteers. It's been great. It's going to be a great year. I well, can clearly. feel the excitement, the visceral excitement. So mm. tell us about what's going on. You've got some great films, I know, and you're going to have some great celebrities. What do you have? What's going on? Well, I think our opening night film is Dream Horse, which is a great, great film. One of my favorite actors, Damian Lewis. I love this guy. If I could stand here and talk for five minutes straight, uh -huh. I would just talk about Damien Lewis. I okay. think he's fabulous. Right. I can't even tell you what a great actor he is. Okay. Of course, he's in Billions and, yes. you know, yeah. Homeland before they hung him in the square. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're opening with Dream Horse. It's great. We, one of our centerpieces is uh, Artist's Wife, which is a wonderful appropriate and kind of timely film for them. And what is it about? Yeah. Um, it's about uh, dementia. Okay. Why do we paint? We paint because we have no choice. Out of that as well. And then our closing night film is... Yes. The Last Shift. Ooh. And The Last Shift is a film by our very good producing friend, Sam Bisbee, okay. and there's actually a lot of local uh, people attached to the film as really? pr producers. Okay. And it's funny because we didn't know that at the time that we entertained it. It had come fresh from Sundance, uh -huh. and we looked at it and we thought this this is going to be great. So wow. we're really excited. And those are just three of the book two of the bookends and one of the center films. We also have a lot of Florida films this year that great. we're particularly proud of because they're better than I thought they would be, and I'm wow. not going to denigrate them at all, no, but. No, no. They were really quite good, and, uh -huh. and some surprisingly so. We have one film that's interesting. Uh -huh. it's, it was filmed in Sarasota, really? but it was produced and directed and by a bunch of Canadian folks. Okay. And it's called 9-11 it Kids. Uh -huh. It's about the kids over at Booker uh -huh. that were in the classroom when George Bush was reading, if you recall. Yes. And this documentary follows those children uh, into adulthood. Wow. And it's kind of interesting. It's yeah. more than kind of interesting. It's Very it's an interesting, interesting take. It's getting a lot of attention okay. nationally and internationally. And so we're very proud to have that here as well. But wow. we have we have a lot of films. I mean, our combination of short stocks and, and feature films is around 250, I guess. On Friday night, April 3rd, okay. we're having a street party. Uh, we've closed 4th Street between right. Coconut and Central. And uh, interestingly enough, we're just following suit of what the city seems to do all the time here now. They keep closing streets yes. while they're building roundabouts. Yes. So Not we good. too yeah. are closing a street and that street is going to be uh, Fourth Street between Coconut and Central. So we're having interesting entertainment and Fred Schneider, the front man for the B-52s. B-52s Love Shack. He's opening the party and fabulous hosting, and hosting it. Oh so. my God, that's going to be great. Fred's been here before. The entire band has played here at the festival. Great. And we'll see what happens for that night. We've got some wow. surprises. That's really exciting. Yeah. Well, what an exciting festival. 22, year 22, the best ever Sarasota Film Festival. This is the man, Mark Famiglio. Be there. We'll see you soon. Susan Short, FB TV.